Hello and welcome to Solar System Sports News. This weekend saw the final match week of the group stage of the Solar System Club Cup for 2020 take place. Before delving into highlights of Vales Marineris and Apollo 11 RFC, in golf, the first World's Classic took place this weekend. The 2020 World's Classic took place between the Earth and the Moon slash Mars. The tournament took place on Earth and in North Carolina, USA to be precise and saw the Moon and Mars claim the first World's Classic by 6 points to 5. The 74 par course saw an eventful 3 days of action. On Friday, the Moon and Mars took a 2 points to 1 lead over the Earth thanks to good performances from both Sven Parl and Just Finley. The Moon and Mars who entered the tournament as underdogs were suddenly given 50-50 odds of winning. By the end of Saturday, the Lunarians and Martians would be 5-2 up and on the brink of victory with two single wins and a win in the afternoon for some thanks to Sven Parl and Toll Simon. However, on Sunday, the Earthlings struck back. First Savannah Ivanka's par performance claimed her a one-up win over Joss Finley. Sven Parl then went into the 18th against Earth self where Roland two up and with an opportunity to win the World's Classic. However Parl would suffer a double bogey and Roland managed a birdie to edge out a victory and to bring the overall score to 5-4. Then a great performance from Finton Jerome was summed up with an eagle on the 18th against struggling Toll Simon. Jerome won by 17 up in total and brought the overall score to 5 all. This then lead to a playoff between Finton Jerome and Sven Parl. Sven Parl would edge out this playoff with a par performance over three holes bettering Jerome's one over par performance. Parl redeemed himself from blowing his chances earlier and thus won the first World's Classic. Heartbreak for the Earth after an eventful World's Classic of golf which finished the Moon and Mars 6, the Earth 5. Even though the Earth missed out on the chance to complete a miracle comeback, comparable to the 2012 Ryder Cup in the real world, this tournament will still go down in solar system sports history as an entertaining first World's Classic. Back in World's Football slash Rugby, Group C of the Solar System Club Cup went down to the wire with Vales Marineris, Apollo 11 RFC and Cheng Meng Fu Crater RFC all having a chance to progress. Elliot Lawson followed the action on Mars as Vales Marineris hosted underdogs Apollo 11 RFC. Val on the attack once more. Trying to apply further pressure as they close in on the final third. Albina on the ball now. Passes it to Oceanus. Oceanus making space and kicks it a touch but is it going to make it? No it hasn't. The ball bounces away on the edge of touch and caught by the Apollo 11 defense. A bit of a let off there for Apollo 11. Val would have been in a great position. Apollo 11 continuing to keep this spell of pressure up. Monarchy now has the ball and oh what a run by Monarchy. Tackled down but Samir is here to take it. The away fans are on their feet now. Apollo 11 getting closer to the try line. We've also got big news from the other game in this group because Gidl and Crater have taken the lead against Cheng Mengfu Crater. Now here's Yarden and Yarden kicks it ahead and look who it is but Samir and Samir is in. What an amazing moment for Apollo 11 or FC. They have taken the lead against Val Marineris. Extraordinary stuff. Monarchy steps up to convert and it's between the posts. No problem there for Monarchy. 7-0 to Apollo 11 RFC. And now here you can see, this is how the group table stands at the moment. Yes Val are hanging on to second place but that is currently reliant upon Chang Mengfu Crater failing to turn things around against Gidlin Crater. Val now on the attack once more. Albina back on the ball and he's eyeing up the posts and now it is worth struck from quite a distance from Albina. That's 7-3. Pressure now growing on Apollo 11 who know a defeat could see the knocked out should Chang Mengfu turn the game around. Val have it again now. And Chang Mengfu Crater have just got a converted try against Gibran Crater. So that's 14-12 to Gibran at the moment. The group table as you can see, still has Val and Apollo 11 progressing through but should Chang Mengfu take the lead then Val would be out. Should that happen and should Val take the lead, then Apollo 11 would be out. 
so there are seconds left on the clock now. The Val's still trying to push ahead and guarantee the place. If they can't get a win then O and Apollo 11 have retaken possession. And Apollo 11 kicks it out and that's it. It's all over. 7-3 to Apollo 11 RFC and it doesn't matter for them what happens in Mercury because they are through to the quarterfinals. What an extraordinary story this is. In the Solar System Club Cup for the first time since 2016 and recently promoted to the first division. Against the odds, Apollo 11 RFC have made it through to the final eight. They play as the manager, the fans are all loving it. And we now do have confirmation that Gibran Crater have held on to a narrow 14-12 win over Chang Mengfu Crater. A major sigh of relief for Val Marineris who despite this shock defeat will also be going through to the final eight but only in second place. Elsewhere in Group C, Gibran Crater held on to a surprising 14-12 win over Chang Mengfu Crater RFC. Apollo 11 RFC topped the group after pulling off a shock defeat against Vales who finished the group in second place. Back in Group A, the Sea of Tranquility narrowly made it through to the semi-finals thanks to a comfortable 19-3 win over Gasev Crater, while Northampton Saints would finish top of the group thanks to a 16-10 win. Away to Caloris Basin. In Group B, London Wasps kept their 2020 unbeaten run going thanks to a whopping 33 points to 3 win over struggling to lose, while European Paris RFC concluded a solid group stage campaign thanks to a 17-7 win at home to Webb Crater. And in Group D, Olympus Mont secured top spot thanks to an easy 16-0 win against Bath. Bath missed out on a chance to reach the quarter-finals with Munster taking second place in the group despite being trashed 17-3 away to Leinster in an Irish derby. The quarter-finals take place on Friday and Saturday of next weekend. Here are the fixtures. Northampton Saints will host European Paris RFC in the opening final eight fixture on Friday night. On the same night, London Wasps will play at home against the Sea of Tranquility in one of the most exciting fixtures of the quarterfinals. Then on Saturday, Apollo 11 RFC will take on Munster on the Moon, while Olympus Mons will face Vales Marineris in a Martian Derby and in what is certainly the most highly anticipated match of the quarterfinals. Go on to SolarSystemSports.net to make your predictions for the quarterfinals. Earlier in the week, the first of a maximum of six rounds of qualifiers kicked off for the Interstellar Champions League. In the first legs of this round, the Sea of Tranquility drew 19-19 away to Xicaro United RFC, while Vales Marineris also came from behind to draw 10-10 with Connors Jungle City RFC. Both Vales and the Sea will host their Interstellar Challengers in their respective second legs this Tuesday. Join us next weekend to find out how the Solar System Club Quarter Finals unfold. Thank you for watching and don't forget to sign up to SolarSystemSports.net.